Hello everybody, it's time for another inspired build, specifically an Ethos Lab inspired build. So today we're going to be looking at one of my favorite inventions of his. This was made a long time ago and unfortunately it no longer works. And that is the sawmill. Ethos sawmill. Now this is a little bit more of a redstone fun thing, not an inspired build project like my last one, but I was still inspired to do this after watching those videos, so I'm going to include it in this series. So, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to look at a fix I came up with for his sawmill and a little bit of a fun upgrade, but we'll get to that later. So a little background on this invention of his. Originally, he built this when the different wood planks first came out, like the jungle planks and the, the taiga planks and the birch planks. Um, what it was designed to do was he would take those planks, make them into boats, and then when, when the boats broke, it would make the oak planks, like what we have on the sides here. And this, when I saw this the first time, it was just such an interesting thing to make for such a silly purpose, and I, it was so funny, I just, I wanted to fix it. Now, these normally would be filled with boats, but currently I have only have these two back columns filled and that's all we're going to need. So to activate this invention what he would do was he would hit this redstone right there and it's connected to a bud switch. Now currently this bud switch no longer works. What it was supposed to do is when that redstone was activated this piston would extend and stay extended cutting off this redstone signal. This signal is holding up these pistons which hold back the water which would push all the boats after breaking all the chests over here and then he would click in this spot and the boats would be put in the wall and he would have a bit of lava back here. Now th since the updates boats no longer get broken by lava and I know what you're thinking yes they do but when a boat is broken by lava or cactus it stays as a boat and no longer breaks into the sticks and the planks. The only thing that really does that that I found was breaking it uh, when it crashes into like a uh, uh, the side of a coast or something like that. Basically it has to be in water and rushing down and hitting something. But we'll look at that later. So in order to fix this butt, uh, the butt switch, all you have to do is see this repeater here, click it once and now it's on a two click delay and this should stay extended when you hit it. So I'm just gonna take a quick look at that. Yep, so now the water extends. I haven't broken the chest and this is important because we still have to fix this thing here. Since you can no longer manually put uh, boats into the wall, what we're going to do is we're going to make something do it for us. So the first thing we have to do is put down a couple hoppers. Like so. And i put another one there just so we can fix this. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to have a dispenser place the blocks, the boats, into the block for us. Specifically, what it's going to do is, oh, I have one in my inventory. There's going to be a dispenser, one lower. Oops. There will be a dispenser right here. Like this. And then, that dis above the dispenser is going to be if I can get a fence post, which I also have in my inventory already. Uh, we're going to have these fence posts here, and above this is going to be some water. Now, you might be thinking the boats are just going to get stuck in the water. That actually doesn't happen. When a dispenser dispenses a boat into the water, it dispenses it above it. That way, it'll be pushed into this block, which we have here. So the hoppers, the what, what's going to happen is the boat's going to go down these hoppers. Oops that so the boats will go down through the hoppers and into this the dispenser now we have to actually power the dispenser so what we're gonna do is just put down some of this redstone here we'll put down two comparators set the second one to minus and then have redstone come next to it and get some dust perfect so what this does it makes a, a simple clock basically and then the next thing we're gonna have to do is put some redstone like this. Now the reason I'm doing it in such a wide space is because uh, what happens is the dispenser won't actually dispense blocks if the signal is either too fast or 
sometimes even too strong. Now if I put this here, that should be good enough. We may have to move that. So now uh, what's going to happen is when the boats, see this, is already, this has already reset so we can actually do it still. The boats will, the water will push the boats, the boats will fall on top into this hopper, the boats will go through the hopper into the dispenser, it will dispense the boats, and it will be in this block. So, uh, without further ado, we should probably test this out. So, I'm just going to get myself an axe real quick, and switch my game mode to survival. There we go. So now I just gotta break these. Hopefully I don't pick any up. Now normally you would also break the side ones, but we don't need to this time. And then click that. As you can see, the boats are now coming down. And it doesn't really click on the hopper. What you're gonna have to do next is we are going to stand on the side here and just simply drop them into the hopper. As you can hear, the boats are now being dispensed inside the block. Also, uh, since the boats are in that block, they're hitting that pressure plate, which is actually powering the light, which is a feature he had before. I didn't get rid of that. All right. Now that all those blocks are there, the boats are dispensed, that's good enough. Now, this is what I was talking about before. As you can see, the signal isn't strong enough, so we will have to actually put a repeater there like that, which will dispense the last couple boats. Alright, so now the next thing we're gonna do is when we break this, it's gonna break up into planks and sticks. I'm just gonna check on something. You also have to make sure that you surround this light so that the sticks and the planks don't actually go through the walls. Unfortunately I can't place one there, so this might be an issue, but this is a simple demonstration, so it should still be okay. Like that. Alright, now, when we hit that, it's going to go flying everywhere in the room, and we don't want it to go back into the hopper. So the next thing that we're going to have to do is we have to add this little safety to prevent that from happening. So you put a torch there, that powers the hopper so nothing can go into it. And then all you have to do is put a repeater there, dust, and we'll put a switch up above. So this repeater gets powered. some redstone dust here. Now all we need is a switch. So this will control it for when we want the boats to, when we're doing what we did before, we'll have this powered so it can go through the hopper. For the next step, we want it to have it off so it doesn't go through the hopper. So I'm just going to switch my game mode back to normal. And oh, we still have some boats, but that's okay. We'll just simply put that in a chest for now. Alright, so what we're going to do now is all you have to do to break it just walk into it. All that breaks. Now you have a couple boats left over. All you got to do is just you know manually break it, or shoot it with an arrow. This is a kind of little bug in the design, but it's not really much you can do about it. There we go. And from that we got, just from that one wall, we got basically five piles of planks, three sticks, and an extra two. So the design is actually still very efficient if you want to convert the blocks into oak, into oak planks. Alright, so for the next step, we're going to be looking at a little upgrade that I came up with for his design. But before we do that, we've got to look at something that I used in the upgrade. So we're just going to set it to daytime so you can see. Now, for the upgrade, I used something that I haven't really seen many people do before. Or, well, it's something that I haven't seen. It has to do with how dispensers dispense objects into blocks, like how I use for the boats. Specifically with TNT, a very etho thing. <laughs> so what we're going to need is a dispenser, obsidian, and some TNT. Now, as I'm sure most of you know, different blocks such as dirt, sand, glass, obsidian, stone, they each have a different blast resistance. Obsidian is completely blast resistant and can't get destroyed by TNT. Stone is a higher one, so when you're digging out, say, underground bases, you can control how big the blast is. And dirt and sand have a much 
wider range. So what we are going to do is, as you see here, we have this dispenser. Just put a single TNT in there. Now normally, you click the button, it dispenses it, and a, there's a huge blast that destroys everything. But if you have the TNT go into, say, an obsidian block, which is completely blast resistant, and then you dispense the TNT. Oh no, it's going to kill me. Oh no. Nothing happens. Completely 100% safe TNT. It doesn't destroy anything. However, it does actually, the explosion does do about a half a heart of damage, which is interesting. I'd, I'd love to see that using other features, but for, you know, enough about that for now. So that is going to become very important for the upgrade. Specifically, if we change this to a stone block and put a TNT in there, hit the button, you'll see a big difference. The block is then destroyed. And if you can guess what I'm going to do with this, then you're pretty smart. And uh, just as a little extra before we actually get to the building, this is something I like to call the Ethos Slab. If you remember the April Fool's joke with the Minecraft 2.0 that Mojang put out, they had a half slab of TNT called the Ethos Slab. I like to think of this as the same thing in uh, vanilla. So right here you have a regular slab. And this is completely hidden. You don't see the obsidian. You have a dispenser. All of a sudden, the slab is smoking, and there's TNT, the Etho slab. All right, now let's get to let's get back to work. All right, so we are now in the upgraded version. You can already notice a couple key differences. I have some trapdoors here, this uh, beam in the middle, and that'll become important in just a second. So. Another thing you can notice that's different is we have this dispenser here. And there's just water in the dispenser. And everything else looks the same, you know, there's still the chests. This time I have it filled with boats on all sides. And I'll explain that in just a second, but first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually demonstrate this thing. So I'm just going to put that away. And click. There's the TNT. It destroyed all the chests filled with the boats. Now, there is actually a bug with this design that it doesn't actually destroy. The boats from all the chests don't come out, but I'll just talk to that in about a second. The next thing you have to do is I have a button hidden under here for that dispenser. You click that. It now has water, and it pushes all the boats basically directly on top of the hopper. And it does exactly the same thing that we had it do before. This makes it a little bit more automated. I'm just going to get rid of some of those boats. And I'll get rid of the ones in my inventory too. Just going to dispense a couple more boats. And yeah, you get the idea. And then to, to activate the same thing as before, all you do is just walk into that thing. Uh, turn that off so, you know, hopper's powered, nothing gets in it. And you heard it reset. Now, to reset this water here, you have to actually click the button again. But. You know. So um, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to just break these real quick just so they're not in the way. And click. Water gets attracted. So this is what I've done with it this time. I have all these dispensers here and I had specifically cobblestone just because it's easily replaceable. There was cobblestone here and then the chest would be here. So, like I showed you before with the stone, the TNT from the dispenser gets dispensed into the blocks and then it destroys it. But there is still a resulting explosion. Now, anything with lowest uh, blast resistance like redstone, dirt, sand, even chests can still get destroyed by that explosion. Well, actually not sand or dirt. I think they have a little bit higher. But specifically redstone and chests, they can get destroyed by that. It's something I found out while playing out with uh, TNT. So let's go take a better look at this redstone. Now, I kind of went a little overboard with this. <laughs> As you can see, I have changed basically all of his redstone. It is completely different. And I have this little demo version over here to show you how I did it. So basically, what would 
it be is I have some uh, obsidian here to protect the redstone and stuff below. Uh, what there is is there's these dispensers here. They would have TNT inside it, specifically only one block, because I don't want, uh, just in case it dispenses more than one. And there would be these redstone torches here. Now, I timed this. The reason this thing is... Uh, Oh, a little bit of lag, sorry. The reason this thing is so big is because I have it so that it, it's time to dispense all the TNT at the exact moment so that the blast doesn't destroy anything around it. Because if you have two of these dispensers go off at the same time and one's a little later, the explosion from the first one can push the TNT and that can cause damage. So this would normally, this gets a signal, all of it gets activated at the exact same time and it would dispense the TNT. Now I'm not going to go through all of this redstone because there's obviously a lot, but this specific feature is basically just duplicated three times for the three sides. And another issue with this design is if I can actually find it. Because redstone has such a low blast resistance, sometimes these torches can get blown up through the wall. Luckily this time it didn't, but it's something that it would cost you a little bit extra. It's not every time, it's about maybe once every six tries one of these redstone torches will be broken and all of this is powered from the T butt up here not butt switch I mean so it's powered down there that powers that one and this middle one and then this one goes down here and powers this as well now uh, it still uses the piston retraction there's uh, actually water behind there and it's for there as well. I moved the piston back one because I had to put this redstone here. And I have it timed, if you saw. Set it back to day again. There is this long line of repeaters. Fifteen repeaters. Sorry, I was counting. Each on a full delay. This is because it, it slows down the signal and these pistons won't get retracted until after the TNT goes off because if it gets retracted before it it'll um, open up a place for the explosion to blow up the redstone now uh, besides those redstone torches that I mentioned can sometimes get destroyed everything else all this extra redstone is a hundred percent safe it won't get destroyed by any of the TNT explosions if you look at it if you uh, copy it exactly so uh, yeah, that's my little upgrade for his design. I just added that button there for this dispenser. This block here and these trapdoors are mostly for looks and stopping the water. There's the dispensers that would have TNT in it. And basically down here, everything is the same as I had it before for the fix. So I hope you guys enjoyed this inspired build. I this is probably still one of my favorite projects of Ethos, and as I've said before, it's awesome. It's just some, something silly and fun, and I wanted to fix it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Maybe subscribe, and there will be a download link if you guys want to check this out down below in the description. And I will catch you crazy kids next time. Bye.